Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with a Karo 45T and I have a history with this tank. It pissed me off to the maximum whenever I was working for Mark of Excellence and uh, I hated this vehicle with all my heart. But before that, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind, we have merch running for nine more days. If you want to give it a go, if you want to check it out, feel free to do so. I can promise you that quality is a solid banana out of 10. Also, if you are wondering um, how this tank is rated or any other tank is rated in the world of tanks, you can check out index page. And in fact, you can vote for a vehicle yourself by logging in via our gaming API and you can check out uh, how the things are looking like. So far, 15,000 accounts voted uh, with 136,000 votes or something like this. Absolutely madness and it is crazy. So... What we are going to do, we will try to make this mother trucking tank work now. I must admit, I hated this vehicle um, a lot when I got this tank, but after that, slowly but surely, I, I kind of started enjoying with this vehicle after I finished marks. And, you know, uh, whenever you are not aiming to be consistent uh, consistently for 6,000 plus, uh, it becomes okay. Do I recommend to take this tank from the Clan Wars? I think it is isn't the best tank in the world of tanks, right? So I think there is better tanks like 907 or Vaka um, or whatever else what you prefer. But overall, the tank isn't horrible and to play once in a while, um, it's not that bad. So now, without further ado, let's go into the game and let's make it work, shall we? Okay, round number one, Pilsen Standard Battle. Now, what is Karo 45T and what it has unique? The most unique about this, uh, the most unique thing about this tank, in my opinion, is that this vehicle has auto reloader, 400 alpha damage with pretty damn derpy gun handling. So, if I can recommend something, first things first, what I would recommend is to spam the full gold with this tank. I can promise you that there is a big difference between the 960 shell velocity and 1220 meters and there is a big uh, difference in the penetration uh, 248 to 320 so um, that's what I would recommend fellas for sure okay so the first things first I'm not going to be too aggressive here okay I could take the middle I am very very well aware of that but I'm feeling all right what I want to do I want to punish enemies sitting somewhere around this area okay that's what I want to do. I want to go for a blind shot once in a while. And I will make pressure like this very, very soon. But before that, we want to punish someone playing here in the middle. Because I believe this Manticore is having CVS on. And if he has CVS on, we can chill and we can enjoy ourselves, right? If obviously this budget will make a silly goose mistake. Our 277 is making a hardcore pressure. That's fair enough, I guess. I am trying to get a very nice angle for this Vaza. I am taking my time to aim my shot and I want to make sure that I am not going to miss it. And here you go. Beautiful in the open field. Very, very nice. Free shot of damage. That's always very, very welcome. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to go super aggressive, right? We are going to go super aggressive our, uh, against this was a 131 he has no bloody clue what's coming and i want to keep it in this way right i definitely want to keep it in this way so i am uh, having auto aim on and i am saying no how are you doing that's it uh there is nothing what this gentleman can do apart crying and complaining and saying this is a horrible gaming experience unfortunately he happens for the best of us now we are relatively close to the enemy sniper schnitzels and we know that um, they have some snipers over there for sure. So you know what? I'm going to push uh, in front like this. Okay, convoy. Not a big deal. I am feeling completely fine. And in fact, I'm feeling fine to the level that I'm not even going to fix uh, um, my track, right? So, so far, so good. How about this Kunze? We are slapping Kunze once. And you know what? There is plenty of the tanks that we can punish here. Pay attention at the gun handling, like I said before. 
sure that gun handling is kind of disgusting, especially with a standard ammunition because shell velocity is kind of weak and whatnot. But we are fine. You know, we have all time in the world of tanks. We do not need to panic. Meanwhile, we have a pot on the tank and we are getting significantly closer here. And the main reason why we are getting closer, so we want to provide our team with assisting damage, right? Or I suppose to say we want to provide our team with eyes. Now, pay attention to the DPM. DPM is far away from being ideal either, right? In other words, we are talking about the average tank in the world of tanks, and in fact, most of the good players are taking this vehicle not as a, wow, what a beautiful tank this is, but more likely as a challenge to um, prove their worth that they are able to get the third mark of excellence and whatnot, which is okay. This is fair enough. Um, fear flex, if we can say so, right? Meanwhile, we have the Grille. How are you doing? Enjoying yourself? Hello there. And we are just pushing him out. Beautiful. Very, very nice. So the first game is relatively successful. I believe I cannot complain about all of this and this is a solid game. Uh, there is still plenty of the damage to do and we did some great job uh, by clearing this side. What is happening in my head at the moment? Now I want to go into the middle, okay? I will cross like this and I will go straight into the middle and I will go towards the enemy heavy uh, line um, or heavy tanks, I suppose to say. That's okay. We have all time, fellas. Very good. Uh, in fact, I do not want to go into the middle at the moment. I think the risk is way too high, but what I want to do, I want to eliminate their heavy tanks. So I think better choice would be to actually go for a defense, right? Does it make sense? Instead of going full trollolo to attack, we are going to punish the guys who thinks that uh, they can just simply make a hardcore pressure and uh, um, they are not going to get punished by this, right? That's what we want to do and this is what we are aiming for. Now, as you can see, was a 55 wants to slap our one-to-one -one, and that is completely fine. Good luck slapping this gentleman. Good luck, my man. Meanwhile, we are feeling well. Our Waffle should be able to eliminate him from the game without bigger problems whatsoever. Although, I must admit that I am sitting in a bit of the kaku hole over there. Luckily, Wafflecock eliminated this gentleman, so that is kind of all right. Meanwhile, Super Conqueror doesn't pay attention. This is exactly what we need. And we have other Super Conqueror over there who may think to go on us, but uh, he is going to be up for some surprise. Right, because we are already on his ass, and all we need to do for a full happiness is we need to slap him once and he's dead meat. I lost a lot of hit points for free here, and obviously the blocking damage is zero, but that's to be expected, fellas. Um, I cannot complain about this, and once again, for the next games, I'm going to spam the gold with this tank, because in my humble opinion, this is the proper way to play with this tank, right? I may be silly, I may be stupid, but that's what I think and that's what I want to believe, right? Okay, can we slap him once again? Unfortunately, we cannot. And victory, good. Very, very good. It was it was a hard game, fellas, not gonna lie. Especially the end game was kind of silly from my side, but that is all right. Let's see the score. Okay, beautiful. So what do we have? 5.1 thousand damage, 1,000 assisting damage. This is okay. We are second by experience. We are first by the damage, and we have a decent performance. Nice. We made this mother tracker work. Let's go for more, and this time I will go with a full APCR. So I think this is a fair thing to do and to show how this tank looks like okay bladyful fellas what do we have we have a tier 10 matchmaking um but we are going to be completely all right now we need to make a choice what do you what do we want to do in this game right do we want to do we want to go somewhere around um, this area right to spot and to do some damage or do we want or do we want to snipe with this tank sniping with this tank is definitely an issue and it's not so easy to do so i am thinking about being just tiny touch more aggressive now the question is, is it worth it? I mean, we have plenty of the sniper schnitzels. I think it is definitely worth it. Look, Leo, Leo, uh, probably Fava sniping from somewhere in the back. This is going to be very, very nice, and this should be all right. 
Plus EBR is running for his life already or is he? Yeah, he should be running for his life. Okay, so the answer is simple how we are going to play this game. We are going to take this corner around this area and hopefully we will do everything properly and we will get enough support over there. Right? That's exactly what we are looking for and this is exactly what we need. Look at this. Bazaar instantly pushing the dead EBR up front and saying you mother trucker will serve for us. This is how it looks like. Okay, do we see anyone here? No, we do not. Kind of sad, but let it be. It is how it is. Patton is joining this side as well. Okay, that is that is an interesting one. That is an interesting one. It's okay to have one guy here, but not four. And in this situation, we have four teammates playing here. So, I must admit, I do not necessarily like this situation. But don't worry, we are okay. And we are going to be fine. What do I want to do? I want to get a bit more involved here. And probably I'm going to take this position around the corner. Okay. Rhino is sitting around this area, that's okay, and IS-7, greetings IS-7, how are you doing? Oh my bananas, look how brave they are, look how brave they are, wow, this is, this is something unique and this is something unusual, that is okay. Now I figured it out, I need to get involved in a bit different angle. I want to punish enemy forces playing over there for obvious reasons, right? I want to slap them for making something silly and believe me, they are going to uh, mess this up. There is no doubts in my mind. Okay, it doesn't really matter that the C100 is looking over there, I'm waiting until he will shoot. And he did that. So now all we need to do, we need to start clipping him out, right? This is the whole gameplay for us. That is okay. I am going to hide because I am afraid that he is going to hit me. And I do not want to get hit by him, right? Our team is doing an excellent job here. Now, straightforward, we are going for a base defense. Um kind of a weird game i mean our team went uh, into the city like crazy bastards and they just literally slapped literally everyone in front of them right madness madness what happened in this game but let it be okay what is the what we could do here so we would get a bit more use in this situation I think going through the middle is actually a legit strategy, believe me or not. I am going to take some kind of bush here at first, and I will try to punish Leo or whoever else. <coughs> we'll get spotted around this um, position. That's what I need to do, I think. Oh wow, that's madness. Okay, in this situation, fellas, enemies has no team. Um, I would love to say something else, but there is nothing to say. Uh, games like this will happen once in a while and it doesn't matter which tank you are playing. Are you playing with a Carrot or are you playing uh, with a Progetto or are you playing with Leopard? It's irrelevant. You know, games like this will happen and there is nothing what you can change about this. Enemy team is just simply useless. So we finished everything with only 2.1 thousand damage and even Gold Spam did not really help us um, by any shape or any form. And that's okay. You know, games like this will happen fellas um how otherwise i could have played the game i think i needed to be even more aggressive right that's what i needed to do madness okay fellas we are accepting our performance 2.1 thousand damage that's all we have and i can tell you one thing if i would play for mark of excellence i would be very very angry about this situation but it happens better luck next time four minutes of the world of tanks right where the game goes quite horrible um credits what credits we are not obviously getting any uh, any profits whatsoever and overall it was uh, a stinker game but that's okay let's keep it up okay guys last but not at least we have a Ruinberg and counter battle. Uh, I do not want to play into the city. I'm not even thinking about this. So what is happening in my head? I am going to go on the field, right? 
And by playing from the field, we will try to punish everyone who will try to go towards the middle. I think this is the best uh, uh, performance and this is the best idea which we could do in this uh, um, situation. Meanwhile, as you can see, enemy team is trying to play here hold down, but I can promise you that, that they are going to have uh, quite a hard time performing here and playing here. All I need to do, I need to hold this position a bit. I want to slap every and each guy who will try to escape from here or who would try to peek uh, in this position to play a hold down or however you would call this. This is, this is far away from being ideal for enemies. <coughs> I can guarantee you that. That's all we want to do, fellas. So for now, it is a pure relaxation and this is a pure pleasure. I would love to see this Leo screaming and running for his life. I would love to see that. Oh. I do not about screaming and running for his life, but he is definitely trying to relocate over there, right? That is a beautiful shot. Excellent. And one more. He should be right about... I was about to do the best blind shot ever, but oh well, hashtag never lucky. That's okay. What we are going to do now, now we are getting involved against the guys who are playing here in the city. Or I suppose to say small town, however you would call this area, right? That's what we want to do. So, how we could do this properly? I am actually thinking about being a bit of the greedy mother trucker here, honestly speaking. Oh, TVP! Oy, 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 my man. Someone is sitting in the deep kaku hole. That's it. This TVP is sitting very, very badly, fellas. We have plenty of the forces and we can definitely punish this gentleman. All we want to see, we want to see him making silly goose mistake over there because he will. I mean, I could even go super aggressively for him myself to be fair with you. I mean, this would be a bit of the trade um, where the damage goes, but it's okay. Good. He cannot do absolutely anything here and we are sending him straight to the garage. Unfortunate play for him, unfortunate situation for this gentleman. Nothing what he can change about this though. Uh, we have three in the mag, so we are going to say hello for our brother from other mother, even though we are taking one for the team, we do not care. We are just eliminating him from the game, there is a BR in front of us, we are slapping a BR, and we are having a great time by making pressure towards the enemies. Now 114 SP2 is sitting here, until we are going to arrive close to him, we should have um, significantly more in the magazine, like three I would say, and then we are going to to clip the living crap out of him. There is nothing what this gentleman can do about this. Now, armor of this vehicle is unreliable and I would even go as far as to say armor of this tank is bad. Oh my bananas, do not expect this tank to be the best uh, tank armor wise, right? Oh my bananas, you son of the guns. Okay, I see how it goes. I see how it goes, I did not saw that one coming. All of them went back for a base defense. What can we do about this? Not much. Meanwhile, Art is making sure that we are going to have the worst tank, uh, the worst time possible, but that's okay. We are getting some assisting damage from 114 SP, so that's all I am dreaming about and that's all I need. Meanwhile, I would love to punish his mate. Beautiful punishment to his mate. His mate is panicking a bit and trying to escape, but this is not going to be easy by any shape or any form, and we are feeling very, very good. Even though if he would peak like this, it doesn't change absolutely anything for us, fellas. Uh, this game is already a um, victory for us and for our team. So, all in all, I mean, this is either a hit or a miss, right? Where this time goes. Yeah, we had one fail of the game, right? Which is a bit uh, of the sadness. It is not exactly what we are looking for. But those games will happen, right? So, I think it is fair to show that in, in the YouTube video. I truly think it is fair. And if I need to guess how we played on average with this tank, I think average performance should be like close to 5,000, maybe 4.5, probably 4.5 because the second game was a fail, right? Or maybe even 4,000. We will see.
Time will show absolutely everything. So, would I recommend to take this tank for fun from the Clan Wars? I don't think it is a bad vehicle. Uh, you just simply need to be patient when playing with this tank. That's how I look into all of this. And all in all, 4.4 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage, first by experience, second by the damage. Uh, we broke even, which is very, very nice, although we had the credit boosters running, and our performance with this tank is 3.9 thousand damage and 800 assisting damage. Once once again, that second game ruined everything. If not that second game, the situation could have been significantly better. Um, so yeah, fellas, I hope you found this video interesting and I hope you found this video useful. Uh, all in all, I think I think the carrot is completely fine and uh, I think if you are a player who wants some kind of challenge or you want to have some fun, uh, you can do that with a carrot. Although keep this in mind, marking is disgusting and it's not going to be a really enjoyable experience. Thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.